This episode of Tutcast is brought to you by LearnPhotoshopNow.com. In just two hours, you'll be able to produce your own graphics quickly, easily, and completely stress-free. Hey there, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from Tutcast.com. And in this tutorial, we're going to be giving somebody a virtual diet. We're going to be using a variety of tools in this tutorial, but the main tool that we're going to be using is the Liquify tool. We're also going to be covering some healing brush tools, such as the healing brush tool, the spot healing brush tool, the patch tool, and the clone stamp tool. But to begin with, we're going to be covering the Liquify tool. Now, I have done a tutorial in the past on the Liquify tool. I will be redoing it shortly, but we're going to start with that. So we're going to head to the top and click on Filter and then click on Liquify, which will launch our Liquify dialog box. Now to the left hand side we have our tools. We're going to start off with the Forward Warp tool. So we're going to click on that, and the right hand side of our interface we have our brush settings. We're going to be focusing on two settings, the brush size and the brush pressure. We're going to begin by zooming in on her back area and bringing this in just a little bit. So very simply we're going to hold our mouse button down Click and drag, just like this, just to give her a little bit more of an hourglass figure. Now, I mentioned the brush pressure option. Basically, the higher the brush pressure, the more of a sharp result you'll get. It. You'll notice if we turn it all the way down, the it's a lot softer and it's a lot harder to move. So you want it pretty high when you're working with areas like this. And of course, the brush size is how big or how small the brush is and how much you're affecting. So we're going to go down her body and just pull in some areas that are probably sticking out too much. I'm going to define that area just a little bit. Pull that in, pull the calves in, the thighs, and basically just continue around her body until you're pretty happy with the base result. Now we're not looking for the final result right now, we're just trying to get a base, something to start working with. Now we're also going to shrink her her ass for the lack of a better word and we're going to be using the pucker tool which is this tool right over here and very simply with a nice big brush just click a few times in that area here which will shrink her ass down just like that and then once again we can grab our forward warp tool and then move this in a little bit just like that and there we go. So we have a pretty good base to start working with. We're going to click OK. And if we take a look at what we had and what we have now, it's looking a little bit better. It's not perfect, but it's the start. So what we're going to do, we're going to zoom in on the back once again. And we're going to take care of this roll, which is really adding some bulk to our body. So we're going to go ahead and grab our patch tool. Now if you don't see the patch tool, you may see the spot healing brush tool. Hold your mouse button down and grab the patch tool. This is a super simple tool to use. All you have to do is make a selection around the area that you want to get rid of by clicking and dragging your mouse. You can also use the lasso tool or the pen tool with a selection method to make the selection as well. But I'm going to very simply drag around like this and you'll notice we have our selection. What you have to do now is move your mouse inside the selection, click and then drag to a smooth area that you want to replace it with and then let go. You'll notice that it samples the area that we dragged on top of and replaces it with our selection and it looks really good, it looks really natural. And you can go ahead and do this to many areas of the body to really get a great result, but I'm going to focus on one more tool, and that's the Clone Stamp tool. Now I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it, but if you're not, follow along pretty carefully. So let's say in the bottom area here, there's an area where we want to fix up a little bit. And the patch tool just doesn't work that well in that area. Well, we can use our clone stamp tool if we increase our brush size a little bit. Basically, we have to hold down Alter Option to sample an area. Sample a smooth area, and we're going to click. And then basically it works like a brush tool. We're going to brush on top of the area we want to fix. And it very nicely replaces that area giving it a much smoother look. So we can go ahead and do it again just to make it look exactly the way we want it. Just like that. And go around this area here. Basically go around and fix all the small blemishes that will really make this look as good as it can be. So we can go do it up here as well. 
and you're obviously going to spend a lot more time than I'm spending. I don't want to waste your time, but for six or seven minutes or whatever this tutorial is, it's looking pretty good so far. So we're going to once again go back into the liquify tool, filter liquify, and make some very minor adjustments now that we've fixed some of the blemishes on the body. And once again, bring this in, define the area down there, bring that in a bit. And it's all about the small changes, which will really make your project look as good as it possibly can be. So I'm going to leave it at that. We're going to click OK. And we're going to view what we had to begin with and what we have now. So this is our before and this is our after. So there definitely is a huge difference. Obviously, you would spend a lot more time. You can probably spend an hour or two to make this as perfect as it possibly can be. But in the three or four minutes that I've spent doing this tutorial, I think this is a pretty good result. So hopefully you picked up on some tips on this tutorial. Try it yourself. Find some bigger people on the internet. Heck, take pictures of your parents and make them thinner. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. So please comment and rate this video. And until next time, this is Howard from TutCast.com. Take care.